In this video, we'll be deriving the D'Alembert solution to the 1D wave equation. The simplicity of this solution is often preferable in physics and programming compared to the longer winded solution, but often isn't shown how it comes about from the wave equation. As you know, the wave equation consists of two second order partial derivatives with respect to a spatial dimension x and time t. So the first thing we're going to do is conduct a change of variables using the chain rule with the aim of writing d dt and d dx with respect to our new variables that we're going to call epsilon and eta. So let epsilon equal x minus ct and eta equal x plus ct where c is some constant. And now let's use the chain rule to find d dt and d dx. So let's figure out d dt first. Well, d epsilon dt is just minus c, and d eta dt is just c. And d epsilon dx is just 1, as is d eta dx. Now let's square d dt and d dx so we can plug them both into the wave equation. So writing out the wave equation for a wave travelling at some speed c, and plugging in our terms for d squared dt squared and d squared dx squared, we get the following. You can see that on both sides of the equation, we have operators that want to act on u. So let's rewrite this so that they are, and let's put all of our terms on the left-hand side so that our right-hand side is set equal to zero. Now we can cancel terms and rewrite this as minus four c squared d squared u d epsilon d eta equals zero which if you divide by minus four c squared, we simply get d squared u d epsilon d eta equals zero. So let's now integrate twice, once with respect to eta and then also to epsilon. Also recalling that we're dealing with partial differential equations. So instead of a constant of integration, we get a function of the variable that we're holding constant. And finally, let's replace eta and epsilon with their values in terms of t and x. And this is the D'Alembert solution, one wave that consists of a superposition of both a left and right moving wave, which is really just a fancy way of saying that the wave we see is the sum of the amplitudes of two waves in the same space and time location. So in summary, we conducted a change of variables for ddt and ddx, squared them, plugged them into the wave equation and integrated twice to solve for u. If you liked the video then please give it a thumbs up. If you found it helpful then feel free to subscribe. I make regular videos on calculus, linear algebra, statistics, psychology and physics. As always, thanks for watching.